Hello everyone. In this session, we will explore the concept of both a single step income statement and a multiple step income statement. But first, let's start with the basics. What is an income statement? At its core, an income statement is a financial report that summarizes a company's revenues, which is good stuff, the income, minus its expenses, the cost to operate the company, over a specific period of time. It could be a year, a quarter, or even a month. The simplest form of an income statement follows the format of revenues minus expenses, showing the company's either net income or a net loss. When it comes to preparing an income statement, companies have two format options, the single step and the multiple steps. Both formats lead to the same results, which is either net income or a net loss, but the information is presented differently. In this session, we will dive deeper into these two formats. We will explain how the single step condenses everything into a straightforward computation, while the multiple step state statement breaks down the information into more detailed sections, such as gross profit, operating income, not non-operating income, giving you more information. The key is to understand, at the end of the day, we are dealing with an income statement. The format is acceptable under GAAP. Let's go ahead and dive into a single step and a multiple step income statement. Before we proceed any further, I have a public announcement about my company, FarhatLectures.com. Our financial accounting course is best for online students and students who are struggling in their financial accounting courses. We cover all the essentials from debits and credits, adjusting entries, closing entries, financial statements, and all balance sheet accounts. Our comprehensive course include lectures, multiple choice, true false, as well as practical exercises. Start your free trial today to help you pass your financial accounting course. Your success starts here. Single step is simpler and more straightforward. It's useful for small businesses or those with less complex operation or with people that understand the business and they don't need the details that a multiple step income statement will provide. Because a multiple step income statement, it, of, it offers more details. So the person that's looking at it is not very familiar with the business. They want to know more from the statement itself. It helps the stakeholders. Who are the stakeholders? Investors, creditors, suppliers, customers, anyone that's interested in those financial statements understand the different aspect of the operational performance. Usually it's prepared for larger companies or those companies with complex financial activities. Now what we will do is we would look at an example for a single step income statement as well as an example for a multiple step to show you the difference. An income statement will have three headings, then this is a single step. A single step income statement would list all the revenues and we'll add them up. Here we have net sales, which is sales minus sales discount and sales returns. That's fine. Then we'll have interest revenue, interest or dividend revenue. If the company generate interest or dividend revenue, which is earned from invested funds like a a CD in the bank, you invested in stocks, you invested in bonds, and the company might have gains from selling assets. So all of those, we bunch them together and we call it total revenues. Then what we'll do, then we have a section for expenses and we list all the expenses such as cost of goods sold, which is cost of producing or buying the goods to be sold. Selling expenses, those are expenses linked directly to sales activities, general and administrative expenses, expenses that cover the company's overall overhead costs like rent supplies, office supplies that serve all the companies. What's the difference between G and A and selling? Selling costs are costs like advertising expense, costs like shipping, because when you sell something, you have to ship it. Any cost that's related to selling, like paying commission to salespeople. We bunch all those together. Then we have interest expense. Interest expense is cost for, bor for borrowing the funds. It's a finance expense. We don't differentiate between any of these expenses. We list them all together. We add them up. We have total revenues minus total expenses. This is what we mean by a single step. Revenues minus expenses, we get the net income. Single step income statement.
The next thing we're going to look at is the multiple step income statement. And you're going to see the difference. We're going to take the same information and rearrange this, this information in a way that's going to give the user more information about the company, the operational performance of the company. How so? Let's take a look at the same income statement in a multiple step format. So this is the multiple step income statement for the sake of space i took out the headings which is the headings right here of the income statement same heading and i took out a few things i will explain once i get there first the step one in the multiple step income statement is we compute net sales now on a multiple step income statement you will see sales less sales discount you would show the sales discount less returns and allowances you will see those but for the sake of space i just put net sales 300,000 but you have to understand net sales will be shown in a multiple step income statement step two you would compute cost of goods sold. for cost of goods sold i i think you should see it it is beginning inventory plus purchases minus ending inventory so you will show the users how you came up with the with this 200,000 which is beginning inventory plus purchases minus ending inventory this is your total cost of goods sold this is step two multiple step step three you compute gross profit which is sales minus cost of goods sold equal to gross profit 100,000 then we look at our operating expenses and our operating expenses we break them into selling and administrative now also for the sake of space under selling expenses and in a, in a, in a, in a multiple step income statement you would list the selling expenses like advertising sales salaries sales commission rent for sales any expense related to selling shipping cost Shipping and advertising and sales salaries or sales commission are classic examples. You would list them, but for I cannot list them because I want to show you the multiple step all on one page. Then you will have general and administrative expenses. Same concept. You would list them because you want to show more information. Therefore, you will take the operating expenses and you break them down into selling and general and administrative general and administrative are office space for the ceo for the cfo for the hr for the accounting that people that help the company overall they're not related to sales they're related to ad administrative tasks office supplies admin administrative salaries different than sales salaries they're both salaries one is to paid for the sales people one is paid for the adv administration people so now this is step four we total operating expenses 80 then we'll take 100,000 minus 80 will give us income from operation now why is the multiple step income statement important because if you are analyzing a business if you are looking at a business and you want to know how well a business is doing well here's what I would do I would look at their gross profit minus their expenses their operating expenses to come up to this figure operating income from operation I want to know if this company making a profit from operating the business and guess what they are making 20,000 of profit now if I look at the single step income statement it doesn't show me any of this it just shows me a bunch of totals revenue a bunch of another total expenses take revenues minus expenses the multiple step it's showing me more information and again one of the one one of the things that you want to look at is is the business making profit from operating the business why am I why am I emphasizing this point because the business could be generating other revenues and other expenses which are not related to the company central operating activities like what you could have interest revenue the company could have money in the bank and that money is generating interest look at look at look at this 10,000 50 percent of their uh, it represent 50 percent of the operating income I did this on purpose kind of to show you they have a lot of a lot of revenue because because uh, a lot of interest revenue that's not operating relative to the income from operation but this is a non operating so this is non operating item it has nothing to do with what they do on a day-to-day -day basis 
also under not other revenues and expenses I listed interest expense interest expense is a finance cost financing the company is irrelevant is has nothing to do with operating the company therefore it's listed separately and the reason I did it so I can eliminate the interest revenue with the interest expense usually those things cancel each other then we have a gain from selling some asset well we if we take plus 10,000 minus 10,000 plus plus 5,000 total other revenues and expenses are 20 20 uh, sorry as 5 20 plus 5 equal to 25,000 which is the net income which is the same net income as the single step income statement however we have more information about the company here than under the single step income statement and this is why it's very important to understand the useful the usefulness between the single step and the multiple step income statement what should you do now you want to go to Farhat lectures look at additional resources additional multiple choice questions that's going to help you whether you are a financial accounting student CPA exam candidate CMA exam candidate or taking this for professional development and knowledge invest in yourself good luck study hard and of course stay safe Hi, Adda. Hi, Adda. Hi, Adda.